from a horrific child murderer to the notorious Zodiac Killer, we count down 10 spine-chilling serial killers that are still on the loose. Number 10, Highway of Tears. On a British Columbian road in Canada, along Highway 16, many women have gone missing or have turned up dead. The first killing took place in 1969, and the last known one was in 2006. All the known victims were First Nation women, and most were hitchhikers. Police confirmed that there were 18 victims, but First Nations organizations figured that over 40 women had gone missing and were targeted by the killer. There have never been any arrests made about the murders, and the killer is still on the loose. Number 9. The Zodiac Killer during the 1960s in the San Francisco area, a serial killer, who later named himself Zodiac, took the lives of three women and two men. In 1969, he sent a letter to a number of newspapers claiming he was the Zodiac Killer. The letter contained four cryptograms, and only one was ever solved by the police. The last letter the police received was in 1974, and the killer fessed up to killing 37 people. Despite his claim, police only found seven victims that fit the killer's pattern. The case is still open, and the police never have had more to go on than a sketch of a man in a black shirt and a black hood. In 2014, Gary Stewart wrote the book, The Most Dangerous Animal of All, and suggests that his father was the real Zodiac Killer. Number 8. The West Mesa Bone Collector In 2009 in Albuquerque, New Mexico, the remains of 11 women were found in a desert area. All the women were prostitutes and were believed to have been killed by one person. Police reported that no witnesses have ever come forward, and not even any DNA was found to connect anyone to the murders. Number 7. The Edgecombe Killer From 2005 to 2010 around Edgecombe, North Carolina, a killer murdered nine women and one man. All the bodies were found in the woods in the surrounding area. All the victims had a history of drugs and prostitution and were African Americans. The female victims were stabbed to death. The male victim was a transvestite and was found dismembered. In 2009, Antoine Maurice Pittman was convicted of the Edgecombe murders, but many people believe that the wrong man was convicted and that the killer is still at large. Number 6. The Waseong Murders The South Korean murders were committed by the most notorious serial killer in the country's history. Ten women were murdered over five years, which started in 1986. The killer targeted victims from the ages of 13 to 71 and would strangle them with their own clothing and raped all but most of them. A nationwide manhunt was issued to try and find the killer. But there was almost no evidence, and the authorities' only clue was that he was a slender man in his 20s. The killer was never found, and the case is now marked as unsolved. Number 5. The Flat Tire Killer In Dade County, Florida, during 1979, five women were found murdered. The killer would stalk his victims in parking lots and wait for them to leave their cars. As soon as they left, he would flatten their tires, and when they returned and discovered the deflated tire, he would offer to help them. After they would take him up on his offer, he would kidnap them and stab them to death. There was a total of 33 similar murders throughout the country. Although Ted Bundy fessed up to some of the killings, the flat tire murders have never been solved. Number 4. The Babysitter Killer Around 1976 to 1977 in Oakland County in Michigan, four children were kidnapped and murdered. The killer would lure children to him, and police found the bodies of four of the missing kids scattered in different locations in the Oakland County area. With a child murder on the loose, residents were terrified and refused to let their children out of their sights. Police made some arrests, but due to little to nothing to go on, nothing stuck. The murderer was soon dubbed the babysitter, and many residents thought the killer was actually John Wayne Gacy, because he was in the area at the time. After DNA tests had been conducted, it was proven that Gacy was not the murderer of the children, and the case of the babysitter has never been solved. Number 3. The Monster of Florence This killer, also known as the Monster of Florence, was responsible for the deaths of 16 people from 1968 to 1985. The killer would often pick a certain couple out, follow them, and shoot them with a 22 caliber. Authorities continuously tried to find the killer, arresting many suspects, but had to release the suspects because murders were still being committed. It's been over 40 years since the first murder of the Monster of Florence, and still, there is no evidence about the case. Number 2. The Vending Machine Killer In 1985 in Japan, killings that are known as the Vending Machine Murders took place. The killer poisoned a large amount of bottles and placed them in vending machines throughout Japan. The murderer used paraket, a herbicide poison, and placed the bottles in the dispenser chute. The paraket would rapidly set in just after a few mouthfuls, and soon, nausea would occur in the victims. It took one or two days after indigestion, and the victims would stop breathing. Thirty-five people that were poisoned managed to survive, but ten ended up dying. There have never been any witnesses, or any information to link anyone to these killings, and the case is marked as unsolved. At number one, the Stoneman. The Stoneman killer is the most gruesome known serial killer in the history of India. It is believed that he has killed 13 homeless people in just six months. Authorities named the killer the Stoneman because of the way he murdered his victims. He would find sleeping homeless people and use a large stone to bash their heads in. In attempts to trick authorities, the killer would travel from Bombay to Calcutta, killing his victims in both cities. Then one day after six months, the killings ended. 
There has never been any arrest, witnesses, or any evidence at all to capture the stone. It is still free to roam the streets. These are 10 serial killers that have never been caught.